Eco Heidi Borchers is digging into her bag of eco magic crafting tricks today with the coolest jewelry made from window screen. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tiff. Thanks. Today I'm going to show you some um, window screen bracelets. We've showed you the window screen jewelry before. So window screen, you know, there's lots of different kinds of window screen. Um, I'm using today the metal window screen, and I'm also going to have a kid at the end because I did some shopping for you. I'm your personal shopper today. Um, when I went out to um, find window screen, all I could find was a couple different kinds at my um, hardware store, and they, they really weren't very good. So I had to go on a, a really big search to get the metal window screen. If you have, if you have a screen that you've taken off of your your windows or something, um, and it's old, chances are it's probably the metal because they're replacing it now with the kind of like the fiberglass, but this is the metal. So um, what we're going to do first is um, cut it and obviously either wear, use a pair of um, like tin snippers or use some old scissors. And let me get my glasses on here. And all you're going to do for the bracelet is to cut a strip. And I try and cut right close to the to one of the lines and it's, it's great with window screening when it has it has a line for you and just cut right along remember old scissors until you have a strip like this now the next thing that i like to do now either you can glue it and you can kind of like put like a, a clothespin to hold it or you can use a staple stapler and you can staple it. I couldn't get this one working very well today. So let me show you what I did here. Here's where it's stapled. See right here, because you can put you can put glue over that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the Aline's tacky glue. And there is a little hint here. Um, the glue needs to be a little bit thicker. So what I want you to do before you use it is take the lid off for about an hour and let the let the glue kind of some of the um, extra moisture moisture evaporate and then then it works a little bit better. So what you're going to do is you're just going to start on the edge by putting glue and this is what's going to cover up those um, little edges that stick out. You go all around and just put glue on. And just keep going. And it's, it's okay to just kind of get globby on it because I think it makes it more um, fun on the, the end result. And then, you know, you're going to obviously do the other side, but then you want to kind of go in between here and put some extra stuff here. Kind of let's see if we can get the other side done here. Now, another thing is, you, usually you only want to do kind of one side at a time and let it, let it dry. If you're going to do two sides, what I do is I kind of take like a, a maybe like a paper clip, kind of clip through it and hang it. But see how you want to get, you want to get some of this extra um, glue in the middle. And then obviously where you stapled it, you want to get the glue over that. Then you're going to, I'm going to set this aside right now. And I have one that I've already started. You want to wait until that's completely dry, that the glue is dry. And you can see on this one, it's completely dry. See how I put extra glue on that? And the next thing you're going to do is today I'm going to just do it copper. I've just got, you know, I'm just using one that I bought. This one's actually a plaid bronze. And I don't really pay too much attention to the brands that I use on the paint. I just buy kind of the colors that I like. And then you just start to to paint it and sometimes you have to give it a little bit more paint and you can see where it's starting to catch where the extra glue was like on the the middle part and just keep painting and you can add colors on top of colors and just have fun with it someone um, on Facebook was saying how they like the colors that was on the um, the ones that I made. And you just keep adding colors like so. 
and then you're going to you'd go on the inside and get lots of paint and you can see too when you get extra paint like i would just put a glob of paint that's really cool i really like that effect sometimes whoops sometimes it'll stay in sometimes it'll kind of as it's drying it'll just kind of disappear but just keep putting colors on and I then you put it aside to dry and i have like this little one here this is one of the the ones that was was on the picture on facebook and it shows you um, where it's all painted, completely painted. And I wanted to show you really quick, I think I have time, I did not start my um, timer on correctly, but if you wanted to do like some leaves or something, like this one here has some really cool kind of leafy things and, and I glued things on top of them. If you wanna do like a leaf, obviously then what you do is you just cut your, your screen in kind of a, a leaf. If you kind of round the edges a little bit so you don't really have a point, but you're going to put glue on it. The cool thing is that screen has, has kind of a, it has a um, kind of like a way that you can stretch it. So I usually like to stretch it and fold it. It has a grain, that's what I was trying to say. And then you're going to just kind of put glue on the edge just like I did. And glue on the edge. And then you're going to kind of go down the middle to create like a leaf. So then you would let that dry. And that's what I did on the one, um, the one gold one there. Now, hang on one second. Another thing I wanted to show you, you can see where I laid this down. Um, let me get that out of the way. <laughs> um, see how it's dripping? That's why you kind of want to do one. It's okay if it does that. But another thing that happens too that we have to um, remember is if it does go down, then we want to put a little bit more glue on it. So it might take a couple coats um, of the glue. And here these are again up close. Here's I put some beads and things on. And here I put a lot of glue. There's a glob of glue you can see right there. Okay, so now I can see the um, the uh, chat room. So is are there any questions on this? project. Oh, and there's the, there's the window screen kit. And like I said, it has three different kinds of um, screen. It has the metal screen, it has a little bit thicker metal screen, and it also has some fiberglass screen. And also, I want you to be sure you go to shopcooltocraft.com because there's some wonderful, um, the, the necklaces and things that I did all a couple months back are on that. You can use the fiberglass screens. You um, you're just not going to have it quite as, as thick and as heavy as the um, as the metal screen. And yes, use the tacky glue to add the beads and the pearls. Do you put your embellishments on? Wait a sec. Embellishments in the paint when they are wet. You can do either way. You can, I mean, whatever you know. You're going to get a different effect on however you put them on. I um, put them on. Um, after I got the thing together and I painted it. Um, yeah, um, Barbara, there are lots of ideas on shop cool to craft. If you go to the window screen um, kit, there are wonderful necklaces that I made and um, all kinds of different shapes. Of, you can do hearts, you can do diamonds and everything. And um, how long do you, do you have the wire? You have to remember that when you go to cut you, ha you have to do it for your wrist. So cut for your wrist, the size of your, your wrist, and give it about an extra inch, inch and a half. And that's, that's the screen. And I did see another, someone else was asking something and it just went by. I have 36 windows in my house. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> How, uh, paint type please, you know, I'm using any kind of paint. In fact, I even brought, um, you know, I have like um, Delta, I have Apple Barrel, has a nice bronze. You can also use um, Rub and Buff. You could, you could paint them black and then you could, you could do Rub and Buff on them. So any kind, any kind of paint, you can spray paint them if you want. Um, I think it looks really cool when you put a couple colors on it, like this one. This one has like a pink and a kind of a pearly um, green and then the, the bronze color. I think that looks kind of cool.